We hear some hooting and hollering. We got people coming down the cage. It's Ara Smith himself being accompanied by Mervyn Rodriguez. Again, an, an athlete out of Henzo, Gracie Latham and Bruno Tostes. And here we go, we got Mr. Ben Field joining us. Come on, take a seat, Ben. How are we doing, Will? I'm doing great, sir. Thank you for joining me. I'm, you, you finished up those interviews in the back? Yeah, we just talked awesome. to G Compost about this performance. Uh, he's definitely looking to come back in November and uh, make some more waves here for us. You know, that kid, he impressed the hell out of me. You know what? I, I questioned the whole Dylan Danis look come down the glass. He backed that shit up. Yeah, and see, that's the thing is, like, with these guys that are, you know, starting out and they're fresh in their career, you never know what you're going to see. And uh, to come out and have a performance like that, it's absolutely a great way to get this career rolling here. I'm definitely not envious of the judges in any aspect of that. Um, that was a, a, a very hard start uh, score, scoring fight there. I, uh, I don't know what I I don't know before. how it was scored anything other than 30-27, honestly, yeah. from sitting here. It but, was, again, you know, we don't know. We're not the judges. But I looked at it as a domination for yeah. Campos all three rounds. Yeah. Now we've got here a Reese Smith, Ricardo Henderson, a Reese Smith in the cage right now, ladies and gentlemen. This man is hungry to earn his second win here. Uh, his last time out, he had a three-second finish. He went out there, kind of gave him a jab cross, and that was the end of that. Oh, okay, they had him at 0-0 here. Okay, so uh, he has 1-0. Yeah, I actually uh, I found a fight online there. Uh, if you guys did on Google or YouTube there and search Reese Smith, he did have another fight. I'm not sure if it was sanctioned or what the deal is to why that is not on his record. Um, but, you know, it, it was not a very impressive performance. He did everything right and got the guy out of there in three seconds. Now, I don't know much about his opponent, Ricardo Henderson, do you? Ricardo Henderson grew up fighting in the mean streets here in the Capital District, guys, and uh, he's here to prove that a street fighter can get training and has a place here in the sport of mixed martial arts. So I'm really excited to see if this kid has put all the pieces together and uh, what type of performance we're going to see from him this evening. Well, and that's the key right there because every gym that I've ever trained in, when we had somebody come in and told us that they were a street fighter, all of us just licked our lips Well, that was because that was, that was fun for us. You, you look at my, my Facebook post a, a couple weeks ago, it's those guys that talk about their street fighting experiences during interviews and I, I'm out, you know what I mean? Uh, he was one of the few guys that has gone from the streets found one of the gyms, the right gym, the right facility that fits him not only as an athlete but as a person. And I feel like he's definitely maximized his experience from the streets and it's going to translate well here into the now cage. Now what gym is he training with? Oh God, you had to ask me. I don't have my notes here. Because it looks like Sterling, a former Cage Wars fighter, it looks like Sterling Sharp maybe in his corner. He definitely, uh, he put together the right team for this fight. I feel uh, it's a great stylistic matchup. I feel like both these guys are going to want to stand and trade in the center of that cage. Ari Smith definitely looks to be the longer man. Yeah, and uh, you know, I want to—I I wonder how much nerves comes into uh, comes into effect here with these guys. You know, Ari Smith making a second, or having a second fight. Ricardo Henderson, who looks loose and happy right now with everything, but yesterday on the scales, he seemed like the nerves were starting to set in. Maybe that was just the post of the weight cut. I'm not sure, but I uh, will find out here shortly. And this a middleweight fight. Mike Falvo conferring with Ricardo Henderson. Third man in the octagon this evening, Mr. Dan Mergliata. And we're gonna bring it up to the ring announcer, Mike Falvo. Our next bout for Cage Wars 43 is scheduled for three rounds in our 185 pound division. This bout is brought to you by CageWarsNY.com and presented by County Waste and Recycling, Jewels Design Studio, and Sticker Mule. The judges for this 185 pound fight, Mr. Chris Polinski, Mr. Nels Larson, and Mr. Matt Goler. Controlling the action at the sound of the bell is your referee, Dan Mergliata. Introducing first fighting out of the blue corner, representing the Henzo Gracie Academy. He is making his Cage Wars debut out of Latham, New York, Harris Smith. And standing across the cage, fighting out of the red corner, he is also making his Cage Wars debut Representing Porsche Truck Rock out of Schenectady, New York, 
Ricardo Henderson! He, he's bringing a crowd with him. Yeah, he's got a lot of guys here. He said he was going to pack this place from people all the way from Amsterdam, outside of Troy, Albany. He's got a lot of friends here within the Capital District, so I'm really excited to see you know, if the popularity and the skill are going to match up here. And here we go, Big Dan getting the action started. All right, here we go. Oh, Arise Smith opening with a kick. Trying to overwhelm his inexperienced opponent. Oh, you know, I wouldn't expect, you know, somebody coming from a street fighting background to, to go right for a takedown like that. Well, maybe he wrestled in high school. We don't know much about this guy. He is an unknown commodity. Oh, there he nice goes. Nice job. Down. What a powerful guy right in the mouth. Wow. Oh, my God, look at Holy this. Holy shit. Harrison here. He's got the neck. Wow. Aris Smith. Woo, that was close. Wow. One hell of a scramble here. It, it looks out. like Ricardo Henderson is just a strong man. Oh, there now we go. we've got Aris Smith here in the dominant position. Got a half guard going. Let's see if he can make something happen here. Now, oh, he's going for that arm. Let's see what Ricardo's defense uh, is like here. He's, he's awful high. Off. He's going to shake him off. Yep, nice job. Ricardo giving a little ground and pound. Remember, he can't hit to the face on the ground, only the body. See what happens here as they reset, hopefully back in the center of the octagon. Ara Smith's mouth wide open. Wide open. I wonder how much of the power of, uh, of Ricardo Henderson is going to make his opponent question the same. Wow, he is a strong man, I'll tell you that. Kudos to him for that. Ara Smith trying to control his opponent with his like right leg up on the shoulder. Triangle choke here, potentially. He's Let's got to push the arm across, in. create the angle. Here we go, this is where we're going to see the jiu-jitsu of a street fighter come into play here. But you know, he's doing well, he's keeping it north-south, he's not letting him turn Staying that angle. Calm. Staying calm, that's the biggest thing. Absolutely. A lot of guys, you get that leg up on their neck and they freak out. He's doing a nice job. You know, this is just, it, it, you wouldn't believe that this is his debut with the, with the way he's Now he switches it. that arm bar. Yeah, wow, good defense, good fights. defense, nice job. Past two fights, we've seen a lot of good Oh, oh, oh he might be trying to, oh, he thought he was going to get that corner. He's pulling on the head, but he still doesn't have the angle to create the choke. He's got a little under a minute here to work, so he's got plenty of time to try to lock this in. Let's see what he can do. Now, ideally, he'd be moving his body to the right to the folks at home. See, he's trying to shimmy to the right a little bit to create that angle on the neck. He's going to control he's the arm, go for, for the, the arm. arm lock. Nice job defending by Ricardo. This is a lot more technical of a fight than I was expecting. Absolutely. I'm wondering if we're going to see him try to chain together some more submission attempts here, folks. Just here we go, looking, looking for the Omoplata. Looking for the Omoplata. Can he sit up with it? Can he sit up with it? Control his opponent. Ricardo doing a nice job. Oh, oh. 10 seconds. Nice job. Going for that. Oh, wow. Now, if that would have lasted 30 seconds more, who knows? Well, what adjustments do you make in between rounds if you're Ricardo Henderson? Yeah, if I'm Ricardo Henderson, I mean, I'm going to try to keep it on the feet a little bit more. He's got the power advantage. I'm going to try to soften R.S. Smith up. I'd be looking at the fact that R.S. Smith is throwing these kicks uh, uh, basically naked, coming in with his jaw wide open, his head up, try to create an angle, maybe hit him with an overhand right and take advantage of that because R.S. is a much taller fighter which is an advantage, but a disadvantage in and of itself. What do you, what do you think? Uh, I, I mean, I think that what he needs to do is exactly the same that he's doing. He needs to stay calm and continue to work his strengths in there. I mean, we talked a little bit about, uh, you know, what he's been working in the, in the gym and stuff like that during our pre-fight interview. You can catch that on the Cage Wars Facebook page. Um, you know, he's just, he, he needs to stick with what he's doing. Stick with your bread and butter. You're doing fine as it is. Um, I don't know how that round was scored. Personally, I would have given it to him. Just uh, You would have given it to who? Uh, uh, well, we won't go there. I'm not a judge. I don't want to make uh, I'm going to give that round to Aris just for the fact that he definitely that dominated the grappling. Um, the striking was kind of neutral. You go either way. Now, I'm waiting to see if Aris Smith starts this round aggressive again. Mouth's still open, though. Let's see if Ricardo Henderson can take advantage of him. Ricardo's got his hands down. Oh, that hurt Ricardo. Oh, that hurt him. Can he take him out right here? Right here in front Big of Big Dan watching the action. Oh, nice kick. 
This showing some of that inexperience of Ricardo Henderson. He's, he's recovered pretty well, though. He's still in a little bit of trouble here, potentially. Well, absolutely. We already knew he was a tough guy. That showed in the first round. Oh, yeah. But his ability to kind of stay calm in the pocket there was compromised. Now, R. Smith's mouth, again, is still wide open. He, you know, he's trying to hit that neck. It looks like I wouldn't pull that that choke from that position. I wonder how much the first, uh, you know, a couple of grappling exchanges in the in the fight really uh, they tired out. A Reese Smith kind of wore on the gas tank there. Wow, good job by Ricardo. Down. Gets that takedown. See if uh, Reese Smith can put together some more submissions He's here. He's looking for that arm lock. Oh, can he sit Just up with it? Can he sit up with it? Can he lock his do. opponent? Can he lock his opponent and sit? Oh wow, he's oh. turning that. Oh. oh my god. Uh, now he's got it like that. You know what though? He's actually not in a terrible position because he's if he's got the flexibility, he can he can withstand that. And he does. Good job. I'm really surprised at just how patient and calm Ricardo Henderson has been able to be through some of these submissions. But he should not be here. Oh yeah, definitely not a position you want to be in. And if you are, it's for a very short time and you're moving. This is, you don't want to lay in this position because you're giving your, your opponent all the advantage. Looks like some of the wrap here is coming off the uh, left hand of Aris Smith. They might have to cut that here shortly. You hear his corner not happy, tell him to get up. About a minute, 10 seconds left here in the second round. See if maybe he can set up Ar this arm Ar Smith trying to. Trying to create a better position. Ricardo doing a nice job back. getting to his feet. Nice job by Ricardo. I mean, you know. I know. He, he was uh, almost had his back taken there. Less than a minute. We we're making a choke. He's going for it. Can he sink right it in? Here to tell you if that's deep or not, but it looks like it's going. He's kind of on a perpendicular angle, though. I wonder how much of the choke he can actually. Can we get that? Achieve. There we go. I want to see this angle here. Can't tell you how close that is to under the chin. 30 seconds, round two. He's flattening him out. He's got plenty of time to rewrap this here and start applying pressure. He's trying to get that right arm under the chin. He's trying to roll to his left a little bit. Yep, creating the angle. Less than 15 seconds. Can he, uh, can he last it out? 10 second bell. See what's gonna happen here. It looks like he's gonna make it to round three. Now this that, bout, we'll see a third round, ladies and gentlemen. Man, both these rounds are very difficult to score, and as we saw in that last fight, really, these judges can score this anyway. Oh, yeah. So, it's, in my opinion, you know, it's going to come down to this third round. And now, if you're a Reese Smith, what adjustments would you make heading into this third round? Just going for it. Just pressure. Because you saw what happened when he was able to pressure Ricardo. You know, Ricardo turned his back on him a few times in the stand-up exchanges. On the ground, he kind of laid on his stomach. You know, if I'm Eris's corner, I'm telling him to step up the pressure. Pressure, pressure, pressure. Three minutes left. Do you feel that Ricardo Henderson could potentially need a finish to win this fight? I think that they both could need a finish to win this fight because the judges can yeah. score this either way. That's, I mean, this round really is a definitive round for yeah, me. Yeah, uh, I mean, that second round definitely could have gone to either man there. Uh, this third round, like you said, is going to be the decision maker here. Ara Smith hops up off the stool, Ricardo up. Maybe Both not as got... tired as he's letting on with that mouth hanging wide here open here. The look in Ricardo Henderson's eyes says, I'm ready for this third round. Here we go. Aris trying to size the distance up. Now he's throwing that one jab and stepping in. I'd like to see him double that jab up. I, I'd like to see him start putting a little bit more behind it. You know, you could use that to really start setting up some good kicks to the body, I think. Uh, I think he could definitely punish the body of Ricardo Henderson here if he started setting up those kicks. You know, and throw some knees when Ricardo goes in there. Throw that knee to the body. You know, he, he's a taller man. That's a perfect shot for him. Both, both these, guy, both these guys are tired. Oh, well, there'll be plenty of time to sleep here this evening after the event is over. So let's see if they can uh, kind of pull out the stops, dig down into the reserve tank. Now, Ricardo doing a nice job staying just outside of the reach of Aerosmith. You know, I really, like, a lot of good things to say about both these young men. Ricardo must have some long guys in his training camp to be able to work his range that well. Well, he's staying out of the range, but he's not necessarily closing the distance. Good job with that single. 
I will tell you, he commits to his takedowns. Yeah, Ricardo Henderson proving to us here tonight that he is more than just your average street fighter. The, the part that makes me nervous here, if I'm in the corner of Ricardo Henderson, is it seems like every time they've gone to the ground, Arise Smith is focusing on the submission game. Absolutely. We've I, seen, what, three or four different uh, submission attempts, you know, or different submissions attempted, I should say. And again, that's a big part of the scoring, is that effective grappling. Can't really see here. Doesn't look like there's much action going on here. About no. a minute, 10 seconds left. Iris just has that underhook on the left arm of uh, Ricardo. Maybe looking to try to sweep. Now he's got the left arm over the right arm. Still in closed guard, though, so he's very limited in what he can accomplish from that. Under a minute left. Looks like he's going for another arm here. But he just doesn't have the uh, really good angle for that key lock. Looks like he could try to potentially. You know, he Coming up on 30 though. seconds. He had the opportunity there to take an a opportunity for the triangle choke, and there he's, he's taking that one. And potentially going to try to but set Ricardo it up. Ricardo doing a good job to, to bring himself back to north south. Oh. <laughs> Can he apply pressure to that shoulder? Nope. Nice job by Ricardo. Ten seconds left. Now he's in half guard. Wow. I don't want to be the judges on this one. Yeah, this is definitely a fight, but I'm not sure that I could score personally. Uh, amazing performance by both men. Ricardo Henderson showing us that he is more than just your average street fighter. People chanting one more round here behind us. I wouldn't mind seeing that personally. I wouldn't mind seeing two more. Yeah. I think we could, uh, you know, that's the thing is you got to wonder, had we seen this on like a pro circuit with five, three five-minute rounds, do you think a, a finish could have materialized? I, I definitely could have. Two extra minutes is a long time. Mike Falvo is going to uh, grab the, uh, the judges' scorecards. We're going to bring ourselves a decision here soon. You know, I'm really impressed with these last two fights of these amateur fighters. I know. Fighters. That's, I, you know, I say it all the time when I do these interviews is that I love talking to these guys because you never know Ladies what you're going to see. Ladies and gentlemen, while we wait for the scorecards, just a couple of brief announcements, uh, or I should say reminders. We'd like to ask that during the fight you please keep the aisle ways clear. During the fight, please keep the aisle ways clear. In the event of an emergency, there are no issues. Also, if you're in the first couple of rows, we'd like to ask you to please remain seated as much as possible during the fight for the benefit of those sitting behind you. Also, if you are not a member of the Fighter's Corner, please stay away from the Fighter's Corner. Once again, if you are not an official member of the Fighter's Corner, please stay away from the Fighter's Corner during the fights. Here we go. About time for the official decision. We send it in the cage to Mike Faldo. And now, after three extremely hard-fought rounds, all three judges have scored in favor for your winner by unanimous decision. Out of the blue corner, Aries Smith! You know, I, I honestly think that the difference in this was like when we talked about the submission attempts, the effective grappling across all just, three rounds. He was able to set them up and chain them together phenomenally. Um, I think he definitely has a bright future here within the sport, and I'm looking forward to seeing what's next from this kid. Uh, I'm going to jump, though, man. Thank you for inviting me into the booth for this fight. I'm going to go get a post-fight interview, and I'll Thank be back. Thank you for having us, Ben.